Hello friends, I'll be presenting the case of an 8 year old brain patient who presented with headache and vomiting. So, as we scroll down, we see that there's a large mass in the posterior fossa midline, probably arising from the vomis, which is hyperintense or devaluated images where the system change is due So, clearly, we see that there's mild dilation of the ventricles and there's evidence that a VP shunt has been placed here on the right side. On the T2 weighted images, we see that the same lesion is mildly hyper intense uh, on T2 weighted images with replacement expansion of the both ventricle with uh, the surrounding hyper intensity of the cerebellar meniscus. And as we go superiorly, we see that there's hypercapnus along with the VP shunt and C2. Coming to the T2 sagittal images, it is seen very clearly how this mass is centered to the port ventricle that is causing mass effect on the brain stem anteriorly. It seems to be arising from the vomis, it is expanding the port ventricle. These are the diffusion weighted images, uh, these are the low B value images coming to the high B value images here. On this, we see that there is high signal in this mass. Apart from that, we see a suspicious lesion in the cerebellar hemisphere as well. So we will uh, check that out when we compare the images. We also see a suspicious lesion in the left uh, temporal lobe. These are the ADC maps, and on this, there is no signal within the this mass. So uh, it is showing market diffusion restriction and we also see this lesion in the left temporal lobe also showing diffusion restriction. Moving on to the contrast in the east and the right. We see that this mass is showing marked um uh, homogeneous enhancement. Also, what catches our eye uh, is that uh, multiple enhancing rounded deposits are noted along the meninges in the pseudo as well as uh, in relation to the temporal lobes. And also, this lesion that we saw very well in the images. So, these suggest that they are seen that drop metastasis and diagnosis, which portends a poor prognosis, unfortunately. So the next step would be a screening of the spine and here we see extensive drop metastasis in the spinal canal extending down to the lower canal. So uh, this is a case of medulloblastoma with uh, CSF drop.